Welcome to Misericordia Health Center, Manitoba's Eye Care Center of Excellence. Today, you'll be learning about strabismus surgery, how to prepare for strabismus surgery before you come to Misericordia, what to expect on the day of surgery, and instructions that you should follow after surgery. Let's start with how to prepare for strabismus surgery. It's very important not to eat any food, smoke, chew gum, or tobacco, or to drink alcohol the night before surgery. You can have clear fluids up to two hours before your arrival at Misericordia Health Centre. Clear fluids include water, apple juice, cranberry juice, tea and coffee, but without milk, cream, powdered creamer, sugar, or sweetener. You can also have clear soup broth without noodles, vegetables, or meat. Do not have carbonated or sports drinks. If you have food after midnight, your surgery will have to be cancelled. Please do not wear any makeup, nail polish, or perfume. In terms of taking medications the morning of your surgery, if you received specific instructions from anesthesia, please follow these instructions. Typically, regularly scheduled medications should be taken with a small amount of water. There are two exceptions. Please do not take any diuretic or water pills. If you are diabetic, please do not take any diabetes pills. If you are on insulin, check with your surgeon or family doctor about whether you should take any insulin the day of the surgery. Here's what to bring to Misericordia Health Centre. Your Manitoba Health Card or other insurance coverage information. All of your medications in their original containers. This includes pills, eye drops, patches, insulin, inhalers, and herbal remedies. Please leave all of your valuables at home. An adult driver must accompany you and will need to collect you when you are ready to go home. This will likely be five or six hours after your arrival time, but we will give your driver a call ahead of time when you are ready to leave. If you are under 18 years of age, a parent or legal guardian must accompany you. Please also arrange to have a responsible adult stay with you at home for 24 hours after your surgery. If you live far from Winnipeg, it is recommended that you check with your surgeon whether your follow-up visit will be the day after your surgery or the following week. All pre-op instructions can also be listened to on Misericordia's General Surgery Information Line by calling 204-788-8400. Now you're all ready for your strabismus surgery. If you become sick or you are unable to attend your appointment leading up to the surgery date, please call your surgeon's office. If you're sick on the day of your surgery, please call Misericordia Health Center's Patient Registration at 204-788-8303. Hello, I'm Dr. Ian Clark, and I'm going to be taking you through what to expect on the day of your strabismus surgery. Misericordia Health Center's Parkade is located at 25 Sherbrooke Street in Winnipeg. The second level of the Parkade, level 2B, is reserved for patient parking. Please proceed to patient registration on the first floor while you will need to show your Manitoba Health Card or other insurance coverage information. This is Teresa, one of my patients. She's here for strabismus surgery today. Depending on the time of day, either a nurse will come to collect you, a volunteer will walk with you, or you'll be given a card with specific directions on how to get to the surgical suite. At the surgical suite, you'll be greeted by the unit clerk who will notify a nurse that you have arrived. The nurse will take you to the pre-op area while you will need to get changed into a gown. The nurse will ask you a few questions to verify your medical information. You will also be asked what surgery you are having and to which eye. You will be asked these questions several times throughout the day. These multiple checks are done intentionally to ensure the quality and safety of your procedure. You'll have your pulse, blood pressure and oxygen saturation levels checked in the pre-op area. The nurse will clean your eye with an iodine solution. You will have an IV so we can give you fluids and medications for your anaesthetic. The anaesthetic nurse 
or the anaesthetist will also meet you to review your medical information again. Just before the strabismus surgery, you will meet your eye surgeon and the operating team, which may include a resident or a fellow working with your surgeon. You will then be taken into the operating room. Just before your surgery begins, your medical information and operating details will be reconfirmed as a final check. Strabismus surgery requires general anesthesia, which means you'll be asleep throughout your operation. Your heart rate, blood pressure and oxygen levels will be monitored throughout your surgery. A typical strabismus surgery takes approximately one and a half hours, but this can vary depending on the number of eye muscles that need surgery. Strabismus surgery is a very common eye operation. When the eyes are not lined up evenly, it is called strabismus. With this condition, the eyes do not work together. Each eye will send a different image to the brain. To avoid confusion, the brain learns to ignore the image from the weaker eye. Most of the time, strabismus is caused by problems with how nerves and the brain control the eye muscles. This surgery is usually performed to improve the alignment of your eyes so they appear straighter, to reduce or eliminate double vision, or to improve an abnormal tilt or turn of the head. The eye muscles are attached to the sclera, the white of the eye. During strabismus surgery, the eye surgeon will make a small opening through the conjunctiva, the thin layer of clear tissue covering the eye. From there, he or she will reach the eye muscle. The surgeon will adjust the length or position of the muscles to make the eye work properly. Stitches are used to attach the muscles to their new positions. It is rarely necessary to remove any of these stitches after surgery. Sometimes your surgeon may recommend using an adjustable suture technique. This is where the tightness of the muscles can be adjusted after the operation when you are awake. Your surgeon will have discussed this with you before your operation. The vast majority of these surgeries are non-adjustable, which is the type Teresa is having today. After your surgery, you'll be taken to the post-operative area. A member of the operating team may cover your eye with an eye patch, which you should keep on until bedtime. Your eye or eyes will probably feel gritty, swollen and look red. Some patients have only mild discomfort, whilst others find their eyes are very uncomfortable for the first few days. Patients are given numbing medication at the end of surgery to minimise discomfort in the recovery room. This usually lasts for a few hours. As it wears off, your eye or eyes may begin to feel a little more uncomfortable. Since you are given sedation during surgery, it is important to know that your reactions and judgments will be impaired. It can take up to 24 hours for you to fully recover. That's why a responsible adult must accompany you when leaving the health centre and stay with you for the first night after surgery. In the 24 hours following surgery, do not drive a vehicle, operate machinery or make any important decisions. Start the drops in the evening on the day of surgery only in the eye or eyes that had surgery. The drops are used four times a day. One drop is all that is needed, but if you think you missed a drop, you can safely put another drop in without causing any harm. When you go home, the eye may be watery for the first few days after surgery. The tears may also be blood tinged on the first day. If you have pain, you can take your usual painkillers like acetaminophen, such as Tylenol, or ibuprofen, such as Advil, unless you have a reason to avoid these medications. Follow the dosing instructions on the packaging. Stronger painkillers are not usually recommended as they tend to cause problems such as nausea, constipation and lightheadedness without really helping with the eye pain. A cold compress is also helpful to reduce pain and swelling during the first 24 hours after surgery. Simply wrap some ice in a damp cloth and hold it over the closed eyelids. Never put the ice directly on the skin as this can cause frostbite. Swelling may also be reduced by elevating your head at night by using a few extra pillows for the first five days or so. Your eye may be sticky or crusty after sleeping, especially on the first morning after surgery. If so, gently clean away any discharge with boiled water that has been allowed to cool and a clean tissue or cotton pad. There is no problem with taking a bath or shower after surgery, but try to avoid getting water in the eyes. 
Double vision is common after surgery and usually improves within the first few days or weeks. It is important that you do not drive if you experience double vision. Do not swim in lakes or pools or go into hot tubs for at least four weeks. You may return to work as soon as you feel fit to do so. This may be after a day or two, or it may take a week. In the weeks after surgery, it's very important to call your surgeon if you have severe eye pain that is not relieved by acetaminophen, if you notice a sudden deterioration in your vision, if you have increasing redness or swelling of the eye, or if you notice any yellow or green discharge from the eye. If you experience any post-operative problems and are unable to reach your eye surgeon, please call 204-774-6581 or return to Misericordia Health Centre. Misericordia is open 24-7 for eye emergencies. Go straight to patient registration on the first floor. If you live outside Winnipeg, visit your nearest health centre. And that's everything you need to know about your strabismus surgery journey. Please feel free to leave comments to show how we can further improve your experience at Misericordia Health Centre.